Well, guys, welcome back. Couchsurfing Podcast Season 2, Episode 18. We're back. It's hot. It is hot. It is so hot today. Yeah, I've been outside, like, as usual, all every day. day. All day, yeah. All day today, yeah, dude. I was soaked. I had, like, I, had, I only had one shirt with me. Mm-hmm. And it's this, like, white billabong shirt that's, like, old, so it's pretty thin. Yeah. So it was just, like, being sucked through. to me. And, like, I mean, I was soaked the entire day. Hell. Got home, took a shower, and then my dad and I were, like, running around doing stuff. Like, between my house and the storage unit and whatnot. And, like, I'm already, like, so sticky, I need another shower. It's so hot. Oh. Hello. I think today might have been close to, like, one of the hotter days of the year. Yeah, it was, like... At three o'clock, it was like that over a hundred. Yeah, I for. feel for sure. Um, I was at the beach starting today at twelve, down near Bowie forty four, in HK. Mhm. And there's like no wind. I got like in the water every fifteen minutes. Yeah, that's the thing. Like no wind. How was the water? Uh, probably like eighty eight, eighty five. Like <laughs> I mean, it was warm. It was bad. No, not bath, but it it, it was, was probably like it, 82 or 82. Yeah, it was yeah. definitely it was definitely like yeah, maybe yeah, 85 to like 8, but definitely above 80 for sure. But dude, 85 is like hot. I was in I went back to the Narrows last weekend the Narrows. and it was 92 and it it was like not like comfortable. Like it was just like warm. Yeah. I was like I was like, I was like this isn't really cooling me off like this it's is just, just keeping me from sweating. Gross when it's like that. But, yeah. uh, that's why, like, it's been so hot, honestly. Like, we've just gotten so much of the Gulf Stream up here that when the yeah. water is 85 degrees, if the wind's blowing off the water, it's blowing 85 degree humidity. It's hot. Yeah, so, like, that's, it's, it's hot. It's been so, hot. So, but yeah, I'm ready for the fall. I am too, man. I'm ready for the fall, brother. I am ready for it, so... That's where we're at right now, but don't have too much this uh, this this episode this week. The only topic really that I saw in the paper uh, today, actually, that I just thought was interesting was North Carolina. I should have brought the paper. I left it in the office. But from what I got the gist of was it sounded like North Carolina is now allowing felons to vote. Uh, all, all, like all felons can vote is what it made it seem like may, huh. I don't know if it's all felons or if it's certain type of felons or something but it's felons or can now vote in North Carolina cause some judge or whatever that you know sees over North Carolina so they ruled that it was unconstitutional and against black people and stuff like that is like hmm. what they said well the, and it's been around since like 1973 that felons can't vote mm-hmm. that's pretty I th- that, it's something about 1973 was in the article. Yeah. It may have been huh. just about North Carolina stuff or something, but yeah. Um, That's interesting. What do you think? You think it's good or bad? I just, yeah, I, I don't see why it was like a thing. Like, what what's the big deal if, like for felons like voting? Like, I don't. What's the difference between me and, and a felon other than like obviously I guess it's a different type of felons, but like you can get a felony for like a GTA like or something like. Okay, they still look are. I mean, yeah, they're gonna vote. They're gonna vote for the bad guy. Like, mm-hmm. what if they're Republican or what if they're Democrat? What if they're on like my league party side? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. who cares? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I think you're right. I don't really get it. Like, why is it? Why does it matter? I guess it's uh, just more incentive not to do the things they don't want you to do. But even still, yeah, I don't know. I don't vote. I'm not a felon. <laughs> I don't vote. I'm not a felon. <laughs> Maybe I am a felon, I guess, if I don't vote. Maybe. But yeah, so I know, it was just an interesting topic I I thought about there. and I mean, every now and then I'll get calls uh, from, like, felons that just got out mm-hmm. that are looking for jobs, and it's, it sucks because I just don't have anything for them. Like, I just don't have companies that will take... I only have, like, two companies that will take felons. Damn. Um... And it's, like, kind of rare, because, obviously, they get so many, like, applicants mm-hmm. all the time. So they're looking for... Yeah. Home Depot is actually pretty good about hiring felons. Yeah? Yeah. And, Makes uh, sense. I don't know about Lowe's, but I know Home Depot has, like, a felon program. 
Uh, so that was pretty nice. But yeah. yeah. Um, so, I, it, you have any more, any, any thoughts or anything on it? I said, um, I mean, I just thought it was an interesting topic. I think that it's good in a way. Like, I don't think that, I mean, I don't know. I don't know all the situations, but I think that in most situations, like, if people get out, <clears throat> they've served their time like that. Yeah. If that's the point of sending someone to prison, like. I guess, I guess I understand not being able to vote if you're in jail, maybe. Yeah. But then like, once you're out, you're like. Yeah, yeah, that brings up another interesting thing. Like, can Do vote people in vote in jail? Someone would have to tell me. I'm like, because sure. you can still go to jail for a misdemeanor, right? Yeah, you can go to jail for a lot of things. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> um, not just murder. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and I, I never even thought about that. Can you vote when you're in jail? A lot of them have cell phones now that you're not supposed to have cell phones. Yeah, I know. Right, so, there's... Somehow I'm on prison TikTok. crazy. I'm on prison TikTok where prisoners are showing me how to make the meals that they are in prison and stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, with their they're... different, like, hot plates or something that they hook up with, like, a battery or something. Like. Yeah, they make some wild stuff. Prison is a different place. They were like, hey, let's make a, um, what's the, it's like the milkshake at the one place, starts with an F, not Frosty, um. Fodruckers? No, no, it's like uh, at like Dairy Queen or something like when you get. Oh, uh, um, Blizzard? Blizzard, not, I don't know, I said F, my bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, frozen Blizzard. My bad. Oh, uh, yeah, Blizzard, like, let's make a Blizzard. And he was like, got the sugar, he got some MMs, he got some milk, he got some ice, like, it was like freezing the milk, get the sugar in there, stir that up, put the MMs in there, stir that up, and it's like, Blizzard. <laughs> I was like, what? Frozen Blizzard. So, I don't know, it was, it's just interesting stuff. Um, it is, man. They like they they figure the same stuff out that we got. Also, I learned today with what they can. Um, primitive technology, uh, or like primitive, primitive whatever it's like the YouTube like yeah, channels yeah. that like you know make stuff like from uh -huh. scratch it's because they're the original person that started it. Like the main guy, he's like over ten million subscribers. Like he he's like legit legit, and then it got popular. And there's the two Indian or like guys. I think they live in like Indonesia or Malaysia Thailand, or something, something yeah, like yeah. that. Those two guys are like uber Bro, they make pop. wild oh, stuff they, in that one. Oh, wild, wild I stuff. I mean like full on mud houses that are more luxurious than with, like, like a two story mud house with a slide. Into a pool. Into a pool. With, with a sauna. Like yeah, just oh, like wild stuff. It's ridiculous. And there's a whole article today about how all that, all that's fake. It's all fake. It's all fake. How? Well, except for the main guy. That guy is 100%. He's in Australia. And he's, like, legit and stuff. And has approved in multiple times. But these guys are two people that are, like, now more popular than him. Because they make yeah. wild shit. Like, um... There's, like, you know, the certain people that study whatever. Like, building that type of stuff. Uh -huh. And also analyzing videos. Like, this isn't real. Like... And they were pointing out all these facts. Like, in some of the videos, one of them, you could see a guy, like, behind a wall, kind of, like, like catching his arm, like, digging. Like, helping. So, like, there's, like, different cuts. Uh, and then, on the sides, you could see es excavator uh, tracks. I gotcha. And, like, the water and stuff, like, there's, like, you could see a blue, like, blue piping in, like, the forest. That's interesting. Like, it's not coming from the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was just really funny. Damn. They really be playing me. It's a fucking joke. Bro, it's wild how much stuff on social media and, like, the internet is fake? literally so fake. Oh, I know. What, how do you spell primitive technology? Uh, primitive technology, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So, primitive technology is the main person, but then it's the primitive survival. I think it's the, these two guys. Yeah, they build fucking houses. Like, literally. Yeah. They're getting more and more wild. Oh, they may sure. have been legit in the beginning, but there's no way in hell that they are that now. <laughs> they make, like, million-dollar mansions. They literally make mansions. Like, <laughs> that's a full-blown fucking water slide. <laughs> yeah. A two-story house, like, water slide. Like, it's, what? It's absurd, honestly. Uh, but, like, one way or another, even, like, with excavators and stuff, the stuff they build is insane. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's still, it's still cool, like, what they build But, stuff. like, they shouldn't be trying to make it seem like it's something else. Yeah, but this guy's, like, legit yeah. stuff. 
and he only posts like once a month because it takes like days to make something like yeah. he because he makes like all his different like clay he'll make like clay like shingles for like the roof it takes days to like dry out or if he's like fire firing them like yeah takes like a whole day <laughs> can you so, imagine having to like live like that <laughs> sometimes i wish i did and I'm, like, literally all like you gotta do is make like mud mud pies <laughs> <laughs> some Reaping tiles. I watched a video of a guy, of a kid that's like our age, that built a whole log cabin. Yeah. Like a in like full log cabin. It, or yeah, something. It took him two years. It's a two year like long video. It's like an, it was like an hour. Chopping the tree. Like, Chopping these trees. These trees were living standing. Yeah, he cleared a whole like, section, used all those trees to straight strip them, shape them, mold them, lift them up, like somehow, like on the oh, roof itself with no yeah. like. Um, he didn't use any, like, chainsaws. It was literally all, like, hand tools. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. All the comments were like, bro, you're going to destroy your body. <laughs> he, like, used moss in between. In between, the... to, for insulation in between yeah. the things there. He had windows in there. He made an underground, like, little kitchen thing yeah. for, like, storage because it's obviously colder down yeah, there. Yeah. It pickled a bunch of like stuff. Like a root cellar or something. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was that. two story. It was, like, him and his dog. Yeah. <laughs> That guy was awesome. He's like, all right. And like so. his, I think it's either his grandpa or his dad would help like occasionally with like. It was usually just himself though. But yeah, yeah if it had to be like lifting up or to these things, but the kid would literally lift up a full, full ass like log somehow. Oh yeah. Like a full tree. Yeah. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, man. That's a cool, like I would love to meet people like that. I know. Be like, dude, you're doing it. It's always interesting at meeting people that kind of, they definitely build stuff with their hands like that type of style yeah like my aunt she gave me a nativity scene from one of her friends in ghana who just hand carves like wood mm -hmm. and it was a it's a full-blown nativity scene every single character is like hand carved like obviously it's not like hella hella like super detailed mm -hmm. and stuff but like a hand wood carving i'm like it's pretty good yeah <laughs> no i mean and it's unique yeah there's only one of those i know true there's only one of you baby <laughs> ashlyn's coming to the frame she's hanging out today with us she's been a good girl lately now that her boyfriend's gone <laughs> she, she had to break Ren's up gone. had to break up with her boyfriend aka ren my brother's brother's cat that stays here for months at a time <laughs> not just a weekend it's funny um, but yeah so uh, let's go into some fan questions, a.k.a. MVP. Which I feel like we have answered some of these. Yeah, but, like but they may not be out to, yet. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to figure it out, but we'll yeah. answer them all right here, right, right now. now. Get it figured out. So, number first one comes in. Most important thing you have learned after one week, one week of being married. For you. This is obviously for me. Yeah, for you, same question, but one year. Yeah. So, for me, one week being married i guess the i guess the yeah fact i guess the first week was the honeymoon if we learned anything on the honeymoon one don't get sick <laughs> <laughs> try your best not to get sick number two never go traveling again with just grace <laughs> never again we both and that's not me saying that that's really her saying that it was we both decided we were like it's really kind of boring and like it's not fun that it's just us that we need some other people like we need other couples that we like know like that's fine because we kind of wanted to like party yeah 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 so yeah we just <laughs> we both decided that we're never gonna do a solo like trip we should go on a covid cruise sometime all yeah like yeah that's what we, yeah uh squad squad and everyone they all want to do a, a cruise like next year like ne next summer yeah they all want to do it so, I think it'd be fun, too, but it was also, like, we're, not, we're never going to do a week trip together. We, you know, if we do a weekend, like, you know, me and her go up to, like, New York, like, yeah. obviously, that's fine, but by, like, day three of the honeymoon, we're, like, I'm fucking bored. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, no, that's we've like... done the same thing two days, like, now, and we're on day three, like... <laughs> I could be doing other stuff. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, like, I, I'm getting bored of this, like, let's, I want to meet some people, but we don't want to meet the people here like we wish we had friends with us yeah so that's where i've learned it 
the one week of the honeymoon. After that was, yeah, like, laundry. I just don't want her to do my laundry. I just really don't. <laughs> I just want to do my own laundry. I'm like, so that's just what I want to do. Is, is it a crime? <laughs> is it a crime? Um, yeah, I just want to clean my own shit. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, man. Yeah. I'd say, for me, one year of marriage, which was, like... All the way back in February. Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. So you're like a year and a half now, right? Yeah. Coming up on a year and a half. Yeah. Um. I'd say. What one thing? First off, do you celebrate halves? Like, do you, do you no. celebrate? You get celebrate. Man, I barely celebrate <laughs> whole numbers. I don't celebrate like anything. Okay. Sarah's like, what do you want to do for your birthday? I'm Sleep. Like, <laughs> fucking be alone and do nothing literally just like the same thing I do every day like I don't know it's just... but uh, I'd say in one year man it's kind of tough to like think of one thing I'd say that like the one thing I've learned and this is like it sounds kind of cliche I guess but like Patience. like we're different <laughs> like we are different and sometimes you just gotta like Shut your mouth. And <laughs> Shut your mouth. And be like, Brick keeps this telling is me okay. that. Brick, this is Brick okay. keeps telling me that Benton, you just need to stop saying stuff to her. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'll keep saying whatever I want. I mean, like, it's not like, like, I don't know how to describe it. It's not really like that. She does like, something a certain way, and you do something a certain way. It's just different. You don't understand why she does it that way. Is yep. that the reason? Yeah, yeah. That's basically. how it is with me. Like, it's like, I can't wrap my head around this, and I'm going to lose Who the sleep. fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> this is a different person than I married. No, no. <laughs> no yeah, no, it's not even that. I've, I mean, I've even realized that some of this stuff with Grace, like... <laughs> you don't realize people the, do things different. The so first like, thing, the first thing I noticed, the dishwasher. That was the first thing I noticed, that she had all the plates facing the wrong way. <laughs> wrong way. No, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong way. Exactly. My fucking way. They were my way. Exactly. When you put the when you put the plate in, you know the plate's not just all flat. You know, it's got the curve to it. If the, you put the curve part, like the or the bottom, the back of the plate should be facing away from you. So you put it in. The, it should be face the front of the or the top of the plate is facing towards the middle where the jets are. Yeah. Not away. I like. I haven't thought of that. <laughs> I, I, I haven't said anything. That's Because so now funny. I'm just loading the dishwasher and stuff. Like, I'll take care of it. I got it. I got it. That um, is so funny. And then another thing, she kept hanging, or obviously this would be a summer thing, she keeps hanging her bikinis in the shower, like, on the glass part. Uh-huh. And that's, like, where I, I can't put my towel up there because if it goes on top of her bikinis uh-huh. and they always, like, fall. There's nowhere, like, nowhere to, like, put my towel. So, for, like, two weeks, I was, like, I to like move them over I kept putting them on top then finally I was like can you just like move your bikinis like down so I can have space for my towel she's like yeah I was like fuck I should have just asked it the first day that's so funny I know I was like I've been here for two weeks spiraling like, like what the fuck is wrong with her like why did she not move or, like did she not see me putting my towel up here every single time like that is so funny yeah I'd say like that's one of the number one things that I've learned after one year it's just to like Sometimes things are just going to be different. I gotta... I mean, like, I don't want to call it this either. Like, pick your battles, but, like... I got a grow room, so I'm good. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) Can you not do that? Can you not have a grow? Oh, gee, damn, okay. (laughs) Damn. Yeah, so... Yeah. No, I mean, that makes... I think the whole picking your battles are, yeah, like... Know what I've won, know what she's kind of won, and, like, just let it be. It is what it is. Like, don't mess with it. At the end of the day, if she's loading the dishwasher, it's not me, so. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I don't like how you're doing it, it's not me doing it, so that's better than nothing, I guess. Oh, man. <laughs> I guess they all get cleaned the same way. I, I guess. I need a new dishwasher. It's not taking on water. Yeah, we were looking at some not too long ago. I need to either like either time. I need to figure out just to take it apart and see if I take it apart and clean the tubes, if that will just fix it, or if it's actually a mechanic thing. Because it's 16 years old, so, I mean, what do you expect? Yeah, I mean, and they're I feel not, like, that's like a... crazy expensive. No, I think it's going to be, like, four to five yeah. is what it should Dollars. be. Now, yeah, Bitcoin. on offer. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> now, um, a new stove, though, like, or, like, you know, oven, stove, like, combo, it's definitely, a, gra- definitely a grand. <laughs> yeah. 100% a grand, so, <clears throat> like, not looking forward to that one, but it, it, 
it needs to be done. Like I, I'm, I'm willing to spend the money on that one because I know it's good for the house. And you use it. And I use it all like every day. So it will get its use it's out of it. About to be time then, huh? Yeah, I most likely I'll do the I'll do the stove oven this year because I can keep. I don't care about the dishwasher. You just gotta look, put two pitchers of water in it to start. Fuck it. <laughs> I can do that all day. It's been like that for over six months now. Yeah. I'll, and then I'll probably wait for the dishwasher like next year. And then maybe next year as well, I'll do the microwave and put a new one in like that. And just, or maybe when I get the oven like stove, I may just put the microwave in there because, you know, it all matched. Like you said, just get it all done. But, and then the last thing that would have to be done would be the fridge. But I don't, nothing's wrong with the fridge that I know of. It seems to be fine. 15 years old the only thing i've noticed is sometimes the freezer can get like some in the front of it whatever's close to the door can get like damp like instead of like frozen if you ever have like let's say it doesn't die mm -hmm. and you get a new one you could always and this would be a Put pain that. but you can take it out into the garage yeah well that's right well i plan oh dude you're the best oh my gosh dang we didn't even oh my gosh you're a lifesaver we're not even going to get to our uh, special surprise. <clears throat> Next episode. <laughs> I gotta take, I've been trying to get the black mini fridge that I had uh -huh. um, in college. I'm trying to get that here. It's been at Ann Cavill, so hopefully Grace will come pick it up now. Or get it and bring it back if that's where she's at. Ann Cavill? Yeah. So that way I can have my mini fridge in the garage, which is where I can put all the drinks and stuff like that like yeah. down there out of the way but it'd be dope to have yeah another big, big ass fridge down there which would just be full of Storage, drinks yeah and yeah frank it'd be a bunch of drinks and then the freezer would be for like different like meats or something like that you know he likes his meats yeah not really <laughs> i like poultry I'm a big chicken guy <laughs> big chicken guy big you chicken like turkey? Guy. um no i will eat it i don't like thanksgiving turkey Unfortunately, I don't mind the 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 shredded um, or like the sliced, you know, like ones you can get like a store for like a sandwich, like a turkey sandwich. I'm fine with that, but yeah, it's not a big Dang. yeah Thanksgiving one. It's too bad. Don't like roast beef. Love ham. Love ham. Just love chicken. Like I said, it's so Canadian good. Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon. Radio love. Bacon. I love pork all day. Big pork guy. Big pork guy. Big pork guy. Uh, but yeah, so what are we talking about? We're talking <laughs> Sorry. About, uh, I, cause he, yeah, I, I don't even remember. I don't know either. So, um, I don't know what the fuck are we talking about. Oh, Cheryl's question. Fuck, that's what we get. Yeah, we, <laughs> for sure we were talking about Cheryl's question. Oh, man. Got off on a tangent there. Sorry. All right, so now next question. So we answered one week, one year. Next one is, if you could have one person apologize for something done to you in your life, who would it be and for, and for what? If I could have somebody apologize to me. Yeah, I feel like I, I don't really, I feel like we answered this one before too. I feel too. like we did too. Maybe but worded it would differently. Be, I just like don't. It would be my. Uh, oh, the teacher, right? Yeah, the teacher. Yeah. Lady. We definitely talked about this. You told the whole story about the teacher. Yeah. I don't know what episode it was though. I don't know that was either. And the other one was like, if you could apologize to one person. Do you think maybe it was the one that didn't get, because it was like on the, it had like the. Oh, the weird audio? Yeah, oh, uh, okay. I'm not sure, but. Maybe. I had a teacher yeah. who. And well, you, you want this person to forgive you or you're going to forgive them? Just so you know, the next question is, who are you forgiving? Fucking nobody. <laughs> Not a soul. I don't forgive anybody. Everything I do is right. That's like a Conor McGregor thing. <laughs> no, it was this teacher. Well, I don't even... She wasn't my teacher at the time. So, like, I was in... I think it was third grade. And uh, this lady was, I think, a fourth and fifth grade teacher for Nehemiah, which was, like, the smart kids. Fucking... So, like... <laughs> We were all testing in in third grade to see if we were, like, who was going to go in. And so this Did you happened, go in? No, so this happened before then. 
And I ended up saying, fuck that. I'm not, I'm yeah, not fuck that teacher. I'm never going to be with her. With her. Bro, Forget that. You so could have been said, Nehemiah. You could have been a nerd, bro. Yeah, I could have been. I could have been with all of them. Um, so I was at this other kid's house, and like this situation happened where there was a dog with an electric fence, and they accused us of taunting the dog to try to get shocked by the electric fence, which is just not true the way that I remember it. We were playing with a ball, and yes, we were near the dog with the electric fence, but that does not mean that yeah. I was like, hey, dog, come over here and like get this ball so you get shocked. Well, somehow or another, it ends up like, because the kid's mom was like, brought us in and was like interrogating us or whatever, and yeah. my friend was very sensitive and just started crying and admitting to nothing. Who was it? Uh, his name is Zach Davis, so you know um, Jacob Davis, Hanson's friend. Yeah, it's his older brother. <laughs> That's funny. Um, he was so sensitive as a kid, but like he so starts saying that like we were doing it. We were doing like, it. That's no, not, we were. No, I was like. No, nah, that's not what happened. <coughs> and I didn't really think much of it, and I get to school the next day, and after school, this teacher, like, brings me into the library and is like, you need to just admit it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> first off, what are you talking about? Like, I don't, because I don't even know that she really knows, because I don't think that this is anything. Yeah. Then I finally get on the same page, and this, like, this lady was aggressive. Dead serious. Aggressive. Really? Yeah. Oh, like, my God. Just, like, very stern man like she could make anybody the fucking eh? cry so she like just was talking at me for like felt like forever and finally i was just like you know whatever like yeah i cry. did can i fucking go? you got me like for sure like what's my punishment like, you should um when's this gonna be over you should find that teacher and go up and fucking tell it let oh, her know okay. hey just so you know remember the thing i told you that i was saying i didn't do a bunch and then at the end i did say it i never fucking did it the thing <laughs> is is like it's funny how memories like that work though, because you remember it so well and they're like i don't even know yeah what the, yeah the, <laughs> like <laughs> it's so a <laughs> crucial memory yeah and other person's like that didn't happen like i don't know what you're talking <laughs> yeah, about yeah <laughs> Okay. As if it didn't happen, they started just gaslighting. No, that didn't happen. Like, yes, it fucking did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's geeking. That's funny that you said like the gaslighting thing because I don't know where I saw it, but so we had the <laughs> second uh, quarter of uh, reduced GDP, so like technical, they, oh. like technical recession. Uh, yes. And people saying actually this isn't a recession, recession. because of this or that, and it's like. Are they gaslighting Dude, us? No, they were, um, it was a, it was on TikTok. I saw a press conference. News guy was saying to whatever one of like Biden's like people was up there, and the the reporter was like, "So we're in a recession." They're like, "No," and he goes, "By definition, two like downturns or whatever is a recession. Like is what we're in." And Lay was like, "Yeah, that's not our definition." You're like. What definition are you using? What, what's your dictionary? They're just <laughs> mixing up the language, man. Oh, uh, yeah. It's wild. No, they're changing it here. Recession now is going to be three. <laughs> because, you know, inflation, so that happened. So you got to inflate that one, too. So it's three. Three recessions. Exactly. Three recessions. Oh, my gosh. God. No, it's funny. It didn't fall by that much, though. Like, I think... The first quarter, it fell by, like, negative 1.9%. And then this quarter, I think, was 0.9%. But, do you look up, like, the numbers? I'm literally, yeah, uh, uh, you give me a sec. I just have to, like... <laughs> just to see. But, yeah, like, it'll be interesting to see. It's interesting to me that gas is fallen. So yeah, gas much. is now at 399 It's, like, going down... A lot of places. It's going down, like, a whole, like, dollar. Yeah. It feels like it, at least. I mean, I filled up today for, like, probably, yeah. 58 almost like 60 bucks i had somebody tell me like months ago like well maybe not months maybe a month or two ago um that they're gonna try to make four dollars a gallon look good <laughs> you know what i mean like that's crazy let's see we were at like two during covid when like they shut everything down gas was so cheap no i don't know what the nber stands for but the mber says the traditional definition 
of a recession is a significant decline in ec economic or e an economic activity that spreads across the economy and that has more than a, a fewer months. That it has lasted more than a few for a few months. Sorry. So. It's been a few months. Recession. I think the thing is, is like because it isn't falling a lot, but the the problem is, is that like if you're printing so much money and you're not increasing how much you're producing, like, yeah, it starts to make people, like, you know, want their money back. Which, it's interesting because, like, I think we said something about this last time, maybe not, though. The U.S. dollar is, I think, stronger than the euro right now. Yeah. So, like, we, Americans can travel out of the country for like your dollar goes further in those countries yeah. than it does here now yeah is the best way to Dude, think about I've been it seeing so many videos of people traveling to you know the EU Australia just you know traveling overseas and stuff international airports not so it hasn't been too too crazy or US but the airports it's like it's an actual four hour wait like to get when you arrive to your plane for wow. like to the gate four hours just so many people the line traveling. is just ridiculous yeah it's so long at some of these it's airports so it's four hours that is crazy yeah the huh. wild i showed up to norfolk international airport 30 minutes before the flight takes off yeah i'm like no one's here so jeez it's just crazy and then who would i want to apologize to yeah. I don't even know. Like, I don't have anyone. Everybody I want. in high school, I guess. I don't have anybody to apologize to except myself. <laughs> I only have yeah. myself to apologize to. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, no one. Except God. When I commit sins. <laughs> when I commit sin, I apologize for that. I apologize for that. That's the only thing I do. No one needs to apologize for me. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me. I really can't think of a single person. I'm like, I wish you'd apologize. <laughs> I'm probably like it. the I'm probably like your teacher or I've just completely forgotten. Yeah. Alright. So what is the best and worst advice you have received? I have no idea. Probably worst advice. I've seen a lot of people tell me to Snort heroin. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, that's probably the best advice. Yeah, I think... <laughs> uh, I don't know what the worst advice... Worst advice? I think best advice was... Christian saying, yeah, man. I, I got Grace's number. I'll give you to her. Here, I'll give you a number. Best advice ever. Christian gave me Grace's number. <laughs> that's what started it all. Started the friendship. Started the marriage. Oh, good stuff. <laughs> Did I really give you her number? Yeah, so I got it. That's funny. Yeah, that's the only way I got it. I got it from you. That's funny. I'll have to ask her. I'm pretty sure. Okay? Eh? Maybe. Or did you go to Natalie? I don't know, maybe. And then Grace. I don't know. Because I don't know if I would have had... Grace's? Grace's number or not. I probably did. I think she had a phone. Yeah. yeah that's when we were, like, really young. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not sure that. Anyway, um, worst advice, best advice, best advice. <laughs> Believe in yourself. <laughs> worst, worst advice. Yo, hit this. <laughs> <laughs> worst advice. Yo, hit this. Yeah. No, I think the worst advice would be like. join the restaurant industry <laughs> no I'm just kidding I just don't really know yeah, there's nothing that comes to mind other than like jokingly wor worst advice there's nothing like deep where I'm like I wish I never yeah listened to that I mean yeah not yet. I don't really have anything <laughs> yet maybe that's a good thing I'm too naive still yeah same so we'll have to wait and see what the worst advice is the worst advice was to uh, take out a billion dollar loan and uh no, I can't pay it back, so. Yeah. Oh, well. The mom's <laughs> after me. Oh. Uh, 
I think that, that was all our questions. That's it. We wrap things up. The M- MVP, Cheryl Jeff Ludvig. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Also, guys, we gotta get be real. We gotta get it. We gotta get the be real, Christian. If you guys, if you don't know what be real is, it's literally Snapchat, Instagram, on a timer. Is how I would, I would describe it. Gives that Instagram feel when you're scrolling and looking, but it's like the motion is a Snapchat because you gotta take every day the app will go off at a random time. It says time to be real, and you take a photo but when you click the button it takes a front picture and a back pic- picture at the same time um, right whatever you're doing right there in that moment because you gotta be real so if it went off right now I'd take a picture of the camera and a picture of me that's what you do does it do it you said literally in one click mm-hmm. like you just go well it, oh, it clicks it's like a two oh, second gotcha. delay yeah, yeah, yeah. but you only have to click once gotcha. and it will do both yeah it's not simultaneously which is a little bit of a bummer. That's funny. They'll probably have that one day. I know. So. What are we talking about? Getting be real Yeah, we gotta get be real You want me to get it? Get it. If you don't have it, you ain't cool. You ain't it's just cool. like Vine, man. You know, you, you know who the first person was that told me to get Vine? Colin Jackson. I remember to the day. Andre Moore. <laughs> yeah. Andre Moore. He texted me and said, yo, add me on Vine. I said, what the Jiminy shit is Vine? Like, <laughs> I get on that. I'm like, man. It's like, literally, I, when I got on the app, probably less than like a, a couple thousand. Like, they're on the app. Like, yeah. thousands. Like, I'll probably under 10,000 10, people are on it. So, it was like weird stuff like on there. And no one like ever posted. And then that shit just blew up. Like, six, like by three months later, four months later, it was like, Poppin'. That's like Fortnite, man. I was playing Fortnite when it was like Fort Who. Mm. And like, it was just like all of it. I mean, it is so much bigger than even when I saw oh, it. No, it's a fucking franchisee, it is like. Wild. Oh, what's it called? Marketing they, mania. They broke so many records in like revenue, like, no, I as believe like it. the amount of time. They made like a billion dollars in like. I think like Fortnite is like. Not, I know you can't compare these, but Fortnite. Is like the new like Minecraft, yeah. where like so many people went to Minecraft like to play. They download it all the time and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah it Fortnite's is. wild. It's Fortnite gotten is. so so big. I don't even know. Like, you can probably do so many different oh, things now. I guarantee you, get on there. You're it's like, absurd. what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is an alien massacre. <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy, and some of those games are taking off. Yeah, like wild. But hey, you want to hit some topics? Yeah. All right. So, first topic: How would you like to spend your elder years? Oh, I got this. Some someone's gonna get mad about this one. Cheryl, probably, and Jeff. Elder years start start at sixty. That's elder. You're out. <laughs> you're elderly at sixty. I'm just letting you know right now. If you're sixty, you're old. You don't look old. You don't look old, but you're fucking old, man. <laughs> you're not like geezer, but you're definitely an old guy. Nothing wrong with that being the old guy. Nothing wrong. Sometimes the old guy is cool. Sometimes the old guy is cool. Anywho, definitely when I turn 60, only Tommy Bahama Hawaiian shirts. That's it. It's the only thing I'm going to wear. What if Tommy Bahama goes out of business by that point well i'm buying i'm buying shirts all the time and i'm saving them i'll keep okay, them I yeah, yeah yeah so i gotta you're, you're I'm gonna collect them thing. no yeah I'm, I'm ahead of the curve i'm gonna you know but by the time i'll have like you know 100 no right i don't need that much i can fill it to maybe like 30 you might have like 40 As of right, years <laughs> on your life don't forget that yeah true true so i don't know you might need 100 you might need different sizes. Probably. You know, maybe this some fat cells for sure. What if more skinny cells? That's definitely the other thing, too. When I'm, like, 60, definitely going to start letting it go. <laughs> Just letting it go. I mean, I'm talking, like, we're eating the sweets. Oh, my gosh. We're, 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 we're eating double portions. Benjamin's going to go downhill quick. <laughs> <laughs> like, 60, I'm going, 60, I'm going off the rails. I'm going to get into psychedelics. <laughs> 
Start going to uh, EDM concerts. <laughs> I'm going to be the album. old guy. <laughs> the old guy. Um, yeah. That was giving me a yeah. definitely, yeah, like, funeral, black, Hawaiian shirt, short sleeve. I feel like 100%. you would be the, the guy in the cruise that's in, like, an all-white suit and stuff. Oh, the all-white, the all-white linen. Oh, <laughs> Just my like God. Just, chilling at, like, the rave. Jeez, oh. dude, have you been to Ballyhoo's when that old guy's there? Mm, no, there's this regular who like wears a captain's hat and he's like, oh. I've heard. Oh, okay, so that's funny you mentioned that. I, the last time I was at Ballyhoo's over a year ago, <laughs> definitely <laughs> over a year ago, was with a co worker. They went to go get drinks because I just didn't want to wait in line, so I said they would just buy me one. And I remember Cole came back, he's like, There's a guy in there with like a captain, like pirate hat or something like that, like. He was this like, like he, old guy that's a regular. He was so cool. <laughs> and like, he just like, it, this bar is wild. We've talked about it before, but like, he's just this old dude that must live nearby and just drinks and hangs out with all the kids. Like, all the girls like twerk uh, on him. Oh, it's bet, like I bet he, oh, I know the rest of them, but literally, <laughs> fuck it. It is wild. Jeez. It is wild, Ma- man. Maybe that'll be me, too. At Chicks. Catch me at Chicks. That's where it'll be. If it's not going to be at Bellies, but I'll be at Chicks. Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama at the bar. I'll have the same spot. Exactly. Like my chair. Reserved. Yeah, eventually it's going to put my name on it. Oh, my god. That's gosh. what it's going to be. Oh, man. Uh, what was your question? How, what do you think? Like, you, what do you want to do like when you're out of LA? So what, travel too. Got their travel in there. Absolutely. I want to just like be able to do live, have everything I need on my own property, right around me. You know what I mean? I saw a picture and just live like that. Maybe maybe think I saw a picture. It was like either on Instagram or something, but it was showing what a household to three to four would need like landscape wise property and like this different sections of different like types of vegetation yeah. and stuff like that like it, like it was pretty cool to something like that and it, like it wasn't like that big of like do you know how big it was no if i can find it i'll, I'll make sure yeah. i send it to you but it was pretty cool yeah yeah because it definitely had the dimensions on there it's probably a lot of like i mean it's hard you don't really think about it but like a lot of tomatoes for like pasta sauce pizza sauce like obviously tomato like things that you can can and it's like wild how i mean people do it but it is insane the amount of work that it is like it's your job it's it's a lot canning like making your own pickles canning uh whole tomatoes crushed tomatoes Obviously, you can grow a lot of potatoes that store well, storing onions. Dude, I'm trying to find, I don't know if it was Dubai or what. I think it's, damn. There's some country like Dubai, like that area, that is building a city that is like, it's it's just straight. It's tall yeah. and straight, and it spans like the straightness, like how long the building goes. Maybe Saudi Arabia. Oh, Saudi, Ara- no, Saudi it. Arabia. It sounds like like a Saudi thing. I know what you're talking about. I know Israel has a lot of crazy like agricultural stuff. Linear city, linear city. It's going to be a hundred miles long. Jeez. Hundred miles. Do you know that's here to Richmond? Yeah, that's kind of wild how that's going to work. Are they just going to, like, how is that a city? You know what I mean? Well, it's not, it, like, this city, it's it's just continuous. They're, I'm sure they're going to, that structure is going to be broken in, like, different, like, cities. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're going to have different, exactly. like, stuff. But it's, it's completely straight, and everything is, like, the same, like, dimension stuff, like, in there. And everything, it... Like the different schools and shops and stuff like that, they're all gonna be within a ten to f- uh, five to ten minute walk. Like everything's like centralized. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, and it's gonna be completely mirrored on the outside, like tinted mirrored all like the whole outside of it is what it is what it would be. Oh wow! And it like has tons of vegetation. I don't know if it if you want to look it up. 
It's Linear City is what it's going to be. It's 105 is what they're saying. I'll show you the video afterwards. But that's just crazy. If that actually happens. If that actually happens. I don't know, like. That's going to take at least. I mean, probably it's going to take like freaking like 15 years to like build that thing. Maybe 20. Yeah, that's a lot. 100 miles. Of, I, it didn't Imagine. say how tall, but it was I mean, definitely like not. It was not like three stories. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like probably like. Oh, I forgot how tall I was gonna say. Actually, price says. Man, that's like. Think about all the resources. So and the, and, and like they're gonna have different travel stuff in there. Like so to get to one, uh, one side of it to the other on the city line is only gonna be twenty minutes. That thing is gonna be fucking hauling. Oh wow! It takes me. It takes me two. Uh, so from Norfolk, from my mom's house to my dorm at Randolph, it goes actually a hundred miles on the dot. Very weird, but it took me an hour and a half. Okay. So it's an hour and a half going sixty miles an hour to now twenty minutes. That thing's gonna be going like one eighty. Chill. Oh my goodness. Um. They got like a magnet. I was trying to see how tall it would be. If I had to guess, it would... Oh, this could be taller than the Empire State Building. And taller than the Eiffel Tower. Oh like, just just by a little bit. By a little bit. That's pretty well. But it's that, it's that tall. Like, Empire State Building height. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know what the height is of that. It's um, pretty high. Yeah, I mean, but, it's like 20, over 20 stories, I think. Really? I think so. Oh, 20? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's over 20 stories. When you, th- is, you think it's tall as the West End? Um, yeah, it's taller. It's gotta be. Let's see. I don't know that. Maybe if I had to guess, forty-seven stories. What are we talking about? The Empire State Building stories, or height in feet. The Empire State Building's gotta be like thirty something floors. Maybe almost fifty. I said forty-seven. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, my bad. But I don't know. Hundred and two story. Holy <laughs> cow! <laughs> like not even it happened. Yeah, <coughs> I remember I was watching. I was like, yeah, there's shit. Like, yeah, they're like screaming. They like know the answer. Yeah. Like, it, what? That's. <laughs> I knew how to be like. It has. It has to be over twenty because my building was far. It was like twenty two. Yeah. So I was like, just double that. I'm like, yeah, it'd probably be yeah, around like fifty. God damn. Jeez. Hundred stories. Hundred and two. So they're gonna make a hundred stories for a hundred miles, basically. Yeah, that's what they're gonna do. That's a lot. Dude, it's gonna. Be- I couldn't do it, man. The city like that just ain't for me. I guarantee you, they will. No, I'll see it. I just try, try to think how they would build it. Was it like uh, this building, like this foundation, or are they gonna build it like sections? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the be- best build way to like do your it is five or ten minute yeah, sections at a time. Yeah, build like a big section here, and then let people start moving and let it keep going. And then you like and seal on that side. So then you just build that one, and then you have to just break down that, and build up like you know a thing to join them now. Yeah, just join them straight up. Yeah, or just they join. Knock down the wall. Yeah, yeah, knock down the wall. And then, yeah, that one's running. They get two. You get everyone moved into those. Get those running. Yeah. And they just keep going down. Like, so pretty much if you have, like, a section done, like, every year and a half, like, boom. Yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll have to keep tabs on. I forgot how much they were, it was going to cost them. I really, I think, I really want to say, I think it was a trillion. <laughs> I really want to say it was a trillion. Probably, man. I mean, we're how many trillion in debt? Yeah, they're probably just buying it from us. <laughs> or we're probably just paying for it. We're paying for it. Mm-hmm. We just give out some grants, some loans. Don't pay us back. It's all good. That's funny. 1.2 uh, trail. 1.2 trail. 1.2 trillion. Nothing big, nothing small. Oh my god. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. So. Wild. Wild, wild, wild. Alright. Let's get one more in here. One more. What one fear would you like to conquer? I, if I had to guess, I still get that weird feeling a shark is going to get me when I go out in the yeah. ocean. Like, I'm sitting on the board. I still, I'm still paranoid. <laughs> yeah. Just don't like that feeling. 
I think about it from time to time, but like, if it's gonna happen, I'm like, I'm like, I better. That was weird. I just like stuttered. Uh, I'm gonna live awesome without a leg, or without, I'm gonna live. That's all. Dude, I'm I get it. I like every time I go surfing. I'm like, it's gonna be a great story. I'm like, man, like, I'm like, I like think about losing my leg every time. I'm like, <laughs> how would I live without my leg? Yeah. And then I think my grandpa lives without his arm. My other grandpa lives without his eye. Yeah. So. Time for you to take a leg. <laughs> live without my leg. I'm sure. Yeah. Now the. Definitely get over sharks. <laughs> I would say, what is it again? One is just it fear? one fear. Yeah, fear. Like to get over. Fear of public speaking. Uh, yeah, exactly. Now, um, I'd say, dang, you're fearless. <laughs> I'm not fearless. Maybe like. Also, really scared of alligators. Crocodiles. Oof. I don't like those guys. I don't like how they chomp and then roll. That's what gets me. Dude, I'm trying to think. I don't know if I know any fears. Dude, you ain't got right fear, now. man. You're fearless. I definitely do, but like. I mean, like. None that I can think that I'm stuck on that I wish I could get over, you know? I'll have to get back to you guys. Yeah. We'll get back to it next week. We'll see. We'll, let's dig up some fears. <laughs> some fears. All right. What was your grandma's signature dish? <laughs> For me, the only one I know is baked spaghetti. Yeah. I grandma would... made it all the time. Or, she's, well, she's still alive, but she doesn't make it anymore. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is, like, cream of corn. Mm. But, like. I love some of that. I had never had it until... Really? Yeah. But my other grandma was... She died when I was young, so I don't really know about her. Yeah. But... No, your mom's side or dad's side? Dad's side died, mom's side. Was the cream of corn. Yeah. He said one more. He's like... Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> right, one more. This is the last one. Would you rather live by the beach or in the mountains? <laughs> At what point in your life? The, the couch beach. surfing podcast in the I mountains. Gotta, I gotta be next to the beach, man. Yeah, I I, I go I stay beach, uh, this beach, like you know, climate wise, I don't want to go down to anywhere else. But I mean, mountains are dope, but I think the ocean is just where it's at. Yeah, I need. I think the ocean and the sand are just awesome. I like the ocean. Yeah, but it's fucking great. Everyone says that the mountains are just as good. I just haven't live there you know no so so yeah well alright I think about wraps it up yeah man here for uh couch surfing podcast season 2 18 episode 18 we will uh catch y'all next week for the special <laughs> surprise special surprise we, we have to remember. <laughs> it's gonna happen don't you worry so We'll catch up for that one. Peace.